want to take a little drive into to Beckerville. And uh, hopefully there's enough room on the memory card where we will get all the way to our destination. I ought to think of a name for this series of videos, uh, seeing that I uh, have adapted the name of Coffeehouse Beagle on YouTube. I was thinking maybe uh, going with the title Journeys with the Coffee House as a title for these videos of just driving out through North Carolina. Hey, these trees are going to start turning colors soon. We're right at the end of September. This is uh, Route 52 that we're driving over top of here on uh, Meadowbrook. Making a right turn here on Ingram. I'm gonna get out of here on the day when it's raining. That ought to be really cool. Now, we're driving now on Ingram. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but to the right, we are running parallel with Route 52. Now it'd be southbound Route 52. It should be on the right hand side in the picture. We're still in King. A lot of good restaurants up this way. And we're talking mom and pop type restaurants. We're not talking Burger King, McDonald's, and Taco Bell. The center of town is the opposite direction. The center of King, that is. This is Route 52 that we're crossing out of, and we are also exiting Stokes County, which is where I live, and entering Forsyth County. 
you may have heard the word Forsyth before because in 2011 I spent a lot of time in one of their hospitals, Forsyth Medical Center. Be Forsyth County. But then uh, we're going to enter back into Stokes County as soon as we get into Tobaccoville. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Welcome to Tobaccoville. a uh, neat little drive. Uh, on the left hand side here, you might be able to see it in your picture there, uh, is R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. And that might be part of the reason why the name of this town is called Tobaccoville. Now, R.J. Reynolds is huge up there. When you drive through the town, especially the area that I'm driving through right now, you can smell unlit tobacco. In other words, the way tobacco smells when it's not lit. Coming into the center of Tobaccoville. It's a red flashing light right here, which is Tobaccoville Road. By the way, uh, when we were in King, the road that we're turning off of is called Main Street. But as you enter Tobaccoville, it changes its name to Doral Road. Doral, as you know, is the name of a cigarette. So you have Doral Road, which is in Tobaccoville, which is just north of Winston-Salem. So it all fits in. Old Richmond Evangelistic Methodist Church is building a new church here just to the left. A buddy of mine who owns the Old Richmond Grill goes to church there. The total amount of distance from my home to the old Richmond Grill is about five miles. Somebody broke down up here on the right. Either that or it was an accident. Roads down this way named after churches. We just passed Tabernacle Road.
when you really get driving down the back roads of North Carolina, you really fall in love with the roads because there's just so many things to see. Um, when one of their old 250-year-old wooden houses falls over, uh, they don't destroy it. They just leave it up falling over. They don't rebuild it. They don't destroy it. And that kind of looks neat because you have all these nice new houses and then you got this one old 250 year old shack which is falling over. And that's pretty cool. It just adds some ambiance to the to the area. There's the older, on the right hand side there, the older old Richmond uh, Evangelical Methodist Church. That's where they're moving from. And they're building a new building. Almost at the end of Tobaccoville Road. And this will intersect Renolda Road, also known as Route 67. And across the street. This road here, straight across the street, is Vienna Dozier Road. And that road goes into Louisville. But for this video, we are making a left hand turn onto Route 67, which is Renolda Road. Renolda Road goes into Winston Salem. And it will take you down to Wake Forest Road eventually, which is where Wake Forest University is. And Wake Forest Road links you to Silas Creek Parkway, which can take you to Forsyth Medical Center. This place that I'm driving to right now is uh, a restaurant that I eat at on Thursday mornings. I was here yesterday for my spare ribs. Today it's just for the purpose of doing the video. It's gonna turn around in their parking lot. Here we are at the old Richmond Grill. This is a great place to eat at. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video.